Do you have headaches? Do you have mucus in your throat? Do you have inflamed sinuses? Do you want to get rid of it once and for all? If you do, stay tuned. First, I have five free recipes that you're going to want to get a hold of. If you don't have them yet, look down below, click the link, sign up, and you'll get five free recipes to help get rid of mucus as well as some other bonuses. So check that out right now. So by the end of this video, you're going to know how to eliminate mucus from your body. And you can relatively do it fairly quickly once you understand the mechanics. So stay tuned. I'm Professor Spira, and I am a long-term mucusless diet practitioner, educator, as well as a professional musician. And today we're talking about how to get rid of headaches, how to get rid of sinus inflammation, how to get rid of the stuff that is creating this inflammation, the mucus, the toxic waste that builds up in your body that most people don't think about until you get a cold or a flu-like symptom. You start coughing up phlegm, you start <coughs> blowing your nose. Or you might even, if you're lucky, you might notice that you have some bowel movements that have mucus and slime in it. Your body is always trying to eliminate that which it does not need. And it does not need a whole bunch of uneliminated fecal matter and substances in the body and when you leave this stuff in the body for too long, it gets putrid, acidic, and you hear a lot of people talking about acid-forming foods. All mucus-forming foods ultimately become acid-forming foods when they remain uneliminated in your body. I used to have daily migraine headaches. When I was growing up, I even had medicine at the school nurse's office and almost every day I'd raise my hand and say hey teacher please can I I need to go to the nurse and I get a little thing they would write something down say okay here you go I go to the nurse's office they give me some Tylenol for a long time it was Advil then it was Tylenol at one point but they would have that in the nurse's office for me I'd take it I would lay down for 15 minutes hope that this medicine that is essentially trying to numb my senses because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I took this stuff that numbed my senses and ultimately I, the headache never really went away, but it might have got a little relief. I'd go back to class and keep on trying, trying to learn as best as I could with all of this inflammation, with all of these chronic headaches. I started practicing something called the Mucus's Diet Healing System around 2002, and within a relatively short period of time, I stopped having those headaches. I stopped having the chronic inflammation. And what was I doing? I was transitioning my diet away from dead animal flesh, which creates pus in the body, is very concentrated form of mucus, white breads. Think about how slimy something like white bread gets. You put it in water and just let it sit there and it gets real slimy. These things, although your stomach acid is going to deal with some of that over time, over years and years and years, eventually this stuff builds up in your colon, in your intestines, and you get constipated on a cellular level. I'm not just talking about a little constipation in your stomach and you know, you go and do a quick little enema or take some kind of Pepto-Bismol or whatever kind of stuff and flushes you out. Or you do a cleanse, one little cleanse, and you flush yourself out. No, we're talking about decades, the older you get, decades of this stuff, this residue of uneliminated foods that build up and the toxicity that builds up in your system. So can you imagine what it would be like to clear that stuff out once and for all, permanently, transforming your physiology so that this stuff is removed and the ailments that came along with it go away? How would that feel? 
You know, for me, it felt wonderful to not have to deal with headaches like that anymore. You know, it felt great not having something like hemorrhoids all the time. I always forget to mention hemorrhoids. That was something I had constantly. I mean, that's not fun at all if you've ever had, you know, and I'm like 16, 17 years old with chronic hemorrhoid issues. It's not something you want to talk about with people. And you're sitting there, and, you, and you're, <laughs> if you ever had that, you know, you'd be sitting there trying to, with a face, trying to act normal like, like nothing hurts. You'd just be like, but inside, you're sitting, you're, you're like clenching and, you know, inside you're screaming, screaming like, oh no, oh no. I mean, believe me, I don't miss, do you think I miss hemorrhoids? Just, just look, 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 look right here. Do, do you think that I miss hemorrhoids, having hemorrhoids all the time? I mean, I don't have them at all since changing my diet, but do you really think I miss hemorrhoids? Do you really think that I miss headaches all the time? So we're talking about simple principles, simple things, getting rid of mucus out of your body. And again, if you want to start this journey of learning how to remove this mu mucus, getting some recipes that's going to help you start the process of learning. We're going to bring you in slow and easy. You know, this we're, we're going to throw everything at you all at once. Let's if you're interested in this, like I said, go down to the link below, click the link, sign up, get your five free recipes. There's a couple other things that you're going to get on top of that. There's a lot of value for free. So if you want to take advantage of that, click down below right now you're gonna learn how to get rid of this stuff get rid of this stuff there are some miraculous things that can happen when you start to get your body more in alignment with mother nature and we're different from everybody else out here that talks about diet and health because we're not trying to give you a bunch of facts and figures of you know nutritional concepts and you gotta have this amount of this and that amount of that it's a different paradigm and so be prepared and open-minded for for a shift you know, a shift in understanding because this is a whole different type of thing that we're talking about but it's a real back to nature if you have any interest in what it would be like to be free of so much of the complication, so much of the confusion, then you're gonna wanna go down below, click that link. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button so that YouTube is try to show us a little bit of love. Share this video with other people that might also benefit from no longer having a lot of migraine headaches all the time or chronic inflammation in the nose you know, mucusless diet healing system I mean if you really want to cut right to the chase mucusless diet healing system we got links for that down below too but you have to take control you have to take action these things aren't going to happen just studying a few videos or reading a couple books you got to start there so you you got to you got to study this stuff, get the books, get the information, but you have to take action. You have to take action. Nobody's gonna do it for you. You have to take action. Get yourself together. Physiological liberation is at hand, brothers and sisters. I'm going to start putting more content out here. I'm really going to try to cover some different topics that people ask questions about. Put some things out here on a regular basis. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you're plugged in. Hit the little notification button so that you get notified when we do put videos. Because half the time YouTube doesn't even notify people that are subscribed. So do that. If you got some questions... Uh, hit me up down below and I'm gonna add it to my list uh, for future videos try to address some 
uh, some questions again. You know, we have some Q&A videos that you can find in the channel playlist with a bunch of Q and A's that's like the classic Q and A's a lot of the old school stuff and information that you know with us the information stands the test of time so you can go back to those old videos check that stuff out but I'm going to be trying to address uh, more things that folks are interested in and I look forward to having this dialogue with you uh, if you're not plugged into our Facebook group you can find that we have some other exciting things about to come out which we will be talking about shortly so I thank you so much for plugging in and until next time peace love and breath